everybody and I'm coming to you guys here from my scrap room and uh, it is 1 a.m. here in Texas it's actually 105 <laughs> yes and I'm having fun with my slice I'm I'm making some goodies here and let me go ahead and show you I'm gonna show you just a few colors because I don't want to waste too much time showing you all these flowers I've cut but I've done some like a gray color, a blue color, and and if you're wondering what the small ones were, it was these right here, okay? And then I've done some, some in purple. Okay, maybe I'll show y'all most of the colors. Orange, this blue sky color, and my all favorite, this brown one, okay? This small size right here, I'm using my punch that Leanne uses to make her cherry blossoms. Now, you're probably wondering what kind of flower I'm making. Well, I'm going to give thanks to Lovely Scrapping. That's Leanne. Once again, I just mentioned her. Because she does the most beautiful flowers, you guys. You have to visit her channel if you haven't already subscribed to her you must subscribe to her okay visit her channel you guys and show her some love she does the most beautiful paper gardenias and that's what i've been working on now these are the ones that i've been working on this is the first one that i created using my brown paper and with this brown one it it cuts after it cuts you know makes my cut um makes my cut makes my flower whatever it has this white edge okay because of this type of cardstock that I'm using and it's that type that has like that texture on there so when it does the cut it leaves that edge and when I after I'm done doing the whole flower to bang it's so awesome that it gives me this extra touch right there and I don't have to do anything to my flower as far as distressing or anything um, I love the way that it turned out. I love the, the extra little touch that it gave it when, you know, when it did the cutting. Because this detail right here, I mean, I'm just, I was, I mean, I, I was satisfied. I'm happy. I'm happy the way it turned out. And then she also cuts in green because she uses them to, oh, well, I could show you with that one, to make the back, which is her leaves. Okay, and here's another one. Now, my centers, I'm using these that I picked up at Michael's a while ago. And I'm using the ones in the center, which are the pro types. The pro, um, pro, the pro ones. <laughs> these are kind of like a, like a bunch of little beads. Okay, and then these right here are like, kind of like um, glitter, iridescent. But I'm using the uh, pro ones. And what I've done is I've, I've used two of those stamps, and I simply um, fold them in half, and then I, I ran them through. Once I punched the hole, like she does in her tutorial, um, I went ahead and and, and passed or um, ran these little uh, stamps right through the through the punch, and then you know out it comes through the back, and it gives me four little you know four those four little um, pearls. And then I did a purple one, and I used three of them, so it gives me six. And the same thing with these two here, the brown ones. The brown one here and this one, I did three of those uh, little, you know, stems. So when you fold it in half, you're going to end up with six because it's got a pro on each end. So that's how I'm ending up with two or four or six, depending on how many you use. Now, um... She also shows you how she makes her leaves. And it's a very simple, simple, simple um, uh, technique. Now, what I'm going to do here is because I'm using this one to cut the small size, I need my slice because I don't have the punch that she uses, which is the large one, which I was going to pick up. But I thought, no, I better check to see if I have it in my slice. And luckily, I do. So if you have a slice, you guys, or a Cricut, you can... Refer back to your slicer Cricut and you can check out and see if you have it on there. And because I have my antiquities, I mean not antiquities, 
my applique. <laughs> I'm thinking of paper, huh? This is my applique basics. And let's see here. See, I have the alphabet. And then here are my images. Okay. And then these are the rest of the images. And you have, you know, like this one. You have this one, which is um, which I'm using. And then you have all these other ones. But anything in white is what's going to cut out. Okay. So you don't want to use those. But anyhow, so I ended up having it here on my applique um, cartridge. So I'm so happy for that. So now what we're going to do is um, we're going to use my slice. Okay, we're going to use my slice to go ahead and do the, the flower. And I'm going to go ahead and exit out of here. Just so I can show you how I got in there and choose the one I wanted. So when you put your cartridge in there, it, it, it'll turn on to the main menu, and then you just click on menu. I mean, you click on select, and it'll give you this option. And then you click on select again. And then each of these um, little images will take you in. Let's say I wanted to go to the alphabet. Okay, exit. And then let's say I wanted to go to that flower. Then I select, and it gives me these. But in this case, we're going to go ahead and choose the one in the middle. And I'm going to select. And then here's my flower, the second one. Okay. So I'm going to select. Now it's going to give me a two inch because that's where these images, uh, each, each um, cartridge may vary. And it might, it might start you off at one inch and up to four inches. That's as big as, you know, you're going to get a four inch. But in this case... This cartridge will start me off at 2 inches. So that's what I want. So I'm going to select my 2 inch and it's going to be normal. Let's say for instance I wanted to have, oh I'm sorry. Let's say for instance, for instance I wanted to use mirror. So then I look for mirror and then I, I get the Im mirror image. Let's say I wanted the shadow. Then I, you know, I can get shadow. But we're going to go ahead and go with normal. I'm going to select. And it's going to move right here in front. See how it moved right there? I don't know. You can see with the glare. But we're going to go ahead and set it down. Okay. And I'm using my uh, my uh, magnetic mat. And it's got the sleeve. So there was, there's not going to be any need for me to hold on to the paper. And I hope it doesn't move because I didn't put that much adhesive in there. So we're going to go ahead and select. I've already select. Press the side button. Start cutting. And it's going to give me a check. And once it gives me the check, here it goes. Then I'm going to go ahead and click on menu. Lift my little machine. And voila. There's my flower. Isn't that so fun? This is so much fun. And it was so fast and easy. And I mean... <laughs> You can't go wrong, you guys. And then there's plenty of paper. And once you start playing with it, you can more or less tell where you have to put your, you know, your, your, your where you have to move it next. And, um, and then you just go about there. And then there's this lady here on YouTube that shows you how to measure where you did your cut and where you should place it at all times. So, anyway. Um, so, that's what I've done, you guys. You know, I'm using my slice. Oh, my goodness. Excuse me. I am so sorry. Excuse me. It is late. But that's what I'm using, you guys. My slice. And I'm using cardstock. I'm not using the um, the lightweight um, card, you know, uh, paper. Uh, this is kind of like a medium to kind of like heavy cardstock. So my flowers are coming out really um, strong and, you know, um, durable. And, you know, I like it. So anyway... I'm going to go ahead and move on to my next little deal that I wanted to show you. This is something that I uh, was working on also, and I started working on yesterday. And uh, and I finished it that night, but I, um, I had to stop so I can let it dry up. But this is what I've come up with. And my image, I printed this image on my computer. But the thing is, is that it kind of, you know, have you, it, it looked like it almost bleed it because I used the crackle accent, okay? And, um, and then I used my, the glossy one, I used it in the inside. I'll show you. See, I used it in the inside. And the reason why I covered my book was because I didn't want it to, 
you know, um, because it's going to it's gonna be using some wear and tear, right? And it's going to start tearing and everything, and I didn't want that to happen to it. So um, I was trying to, to um, prevent from tearing and all. And this is the uh, Crackle Accents that I used, okay? And, uh, and look at that. It turned out pretty cool. I like that. And then what I used for these here are these right here that I had picked up not too long ago sorry these punches okay and it comes with the little tool right here so I picked that up not too long ago and I spelled out my slice and it's because it does shapes and more well I did the spelling of shapes and more I was going to put fun shapes and more but I forgot to add my fun words letter, so it's okay. And then I added some flowers that were shared uh, by Scrapping Latina. Thank you, Jackie. And that's Jackie, Scrapping Latina. And I went ahead and I used my glossy accents to glossy these flowers and make them durable. And um, so, you know, so they don't get squashed or anything in my bag. And I simply used the little small rings. And here, I used my... Um, these right here that I picked up at Michael's when I first started getting into the minis and all that good stuff. I picked up this one for like maybe eight, five or, yeah, about five, six dollars, something like that. So, that's what I've done. And then here, as I mentioned, I did the clear, you know, glossy. And then this is what I've done. I went ahead and I went into my computer and I printed out every cartridge that I own for my slice. And I didn't, I, you know kind of printed them down to a size a perfect size that I wanted sorry about the glare but um, yeah and then I just simply added you know I typed on there basic shapes one and then I didn't do anything in the bag I could have added a basic size you know two and so on but I, I wanted to have one for each cartridge ba basic shapes two and then basic shapes three applique and then we have baby we have Bon Appetit, and so on. And every single image, every single font comes out. Look at that. Everything comes out, you know. And you might not be able to see it here on the camera, but I can literally read it, okay. And I like that. And what I've done was I laminated each little, little, <laughs> little um, sheet. And I cut it, like I said, I cut it to the size that I want it. And then I went ahead and I went, went in there and I laminated with uh, my little laminating machine and uh perfect so and then i crackle painted the back too look at that see that and then i glossy accent the inside so yeah you guys that's what i've done so i had so much fun creating this little baby so now when i go to my sister's and we craft i can just put it here in my bag it can either go here in this pocket because right here on this one this is where I keep my power outlet. And then, for those of you that know how it looks on the inside, this is the way it looks on the inside. This is where I sit my machine. And then I have this small little, you know, um, portable embossing little mat. And then I have my embossing of uh, little tools. And for the, um, and then this is where my blades are at this is my tool and what else do we have in here we have this other little tool so or I can choose to not put it in there and put it in here and my machine still fits in here just fine and then I can put something else in here like my distress ink pads which I used which I went ahead and I put in there I was able to fit like Three in the bottom, three down here in the bottom, so six, and then another four at the top, so. And that's it, guys. And then I zip it up, and I carry it over to my sister's. And I still plan on getting me the pink one. I want the pink one, but we'll see. So, yeah, that's what I've done, you guys. So, if you like the idea, you know, here's one great idea in, in case, you know, you like to go out and... And do some crafting and and don't want to uh don't want to you know the reason why I did it was because see I carry I, I hold my my cartridges in here 
Okay, I took them out of the boxes, and I have my boxes put away. But I have the cartridge in little Ziploc, and then I have my my little deal here, um, you know, where it shows you all the shapes and everything. But it can be a pain in the butt sometimes, you know, having to be going into your little Ziploc and taking out the paper, you know, and just to see what image is in there. Let's say, for instance, you're trying to work on, an, on a project, and... You pull out your little um, cartridge and you put it in your machine. But then you want to go ahead and say, okay, I wonder where this flower, where I can find this flower. Well, instead of going into each little Ziploc bag and having to pull out your little, you know, um, image uh, little deal, you can simply just pull out your little booklet like this out of your bag and just, you know, Flip your pages, and it's easier, faster, and better. Don't you think? So, that's my idea, guys. I just thought I'd share that with y'all. So, um, anyhow, <clears throat> that's something I wanted to share with y'all. And, um, <clears throat> and of course, my flowers, okay? I wanted to share with you my flowers that I have created. All oh, thanks to Leanne, lovely scrapping. So, um, that's it. That's it, that's it, that's it. And I, um, I think I did try making some cherry blossoms, but no, no, I didn't. I cut the little flowers, but I ended up having, I ended up wanting to make the, the uh, gardenias. Yeah, so, anyway, that's what I've been up to, guys. And I just thought I'd, you know share that with you guys and um and yeah so thank you so much leanne for the inspiration for your tutorials for your wonderful and um awesome work and uh keep those videos and tutorials coming girl you're doing a great job and uh thank you everyone for stopping by and uh tuning to my channel and i will be seeing you real soon all right bye